Anyway, while we were away, someone did a bit of a talk with their phone, didn't they? And posted it on YouTube. So shall we play that and let the listeners figure out what's happening? This is a video about asking Siri questions. Who am I? You're Chris the Great. That's what you told me, anyway. What is the meaning of life? I give up. Tell me a joke. How many iPhones does it take to? Okay, never mind. Oh, you forgot the punchline, did you? I can't answer that. What is the meaning of life? I can't answer that. Ha ha. What is the meaning of life? Life, a principle or force that is considered to underlie the distinctive quality of animate beings. I guess that includes me. What is my name? You're asking me, Chris the Great. Oh Siri, you're so good. You're certainly entitled to that opinion. Go on, tell me a joke. I couldn't find Warland in your contacts. To whom shall I send it? No one. What is the meaning of life? I find it odd that you would ask this of an inanimate object. Okay, this is, has been a little video about all the great fun you can have with Siri. Now, thank you, and I will see you soon. Well, well I find talk it. about the, the Siri take, because I thought that was wonderful. Okay, yeah, you can talk and, about and voice. Thing. Voice recognition does seem to be getting a lot better. It does. But I'm wondering if it's good enough to drive your car with. Cause um, that... probably not. Well, that's what they're claiming though, isn't it? I mean, apparently, with, um, with the latest technology in Las Vegas, you can be sitting in your car, in Counters Wheel, let's say, and you say, car... Take me to uh, Princess Hay. And uh, obviously on today, the car would have already understood that uh, that was all very difficult. But uh, usually it would just set off. It would know where it was. It would have cameras to sense um, what other cars it might bump into. And it would just drive you along. And you'd be able to relax all the way. And um, that's what they're claiming now in Las so Vegas. Put Chris in the car and tell him to take him to Land's End or something like that. We could do that. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I think that each car is trained to recognise a particular voice. Oh, something right. like that. Well, the Go- I think the Google car does that, doesn't it? The Google car does that. Yes. Yes, I know that, yes. But what, 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 I, what I found out was that a self-driving boat means something else. Oh, we need one of those at this time of the year. Well, I think we need a boat. <laughs> and I, I thought if there's a self-driving car, there ought to be a self-driving boat. But it, when you put that into Google, yeah. it comes up with something else. It thinks you mean a, a canal boat that you're prepared to be trained with. <laughs> right, yeah. So I think a boat is, is more complicated well, than a car. A certain television programme, Yes. Um, they devised um, a car with a boat engine attached to it. Oh, right. You know the programme I'm talking about? Yes. Not bottom gear. No, um, <laughs> no, not um, bottom gear. So, it, so the, the car floated. The car floated, and they put an engine inside it. Yes. I mean, like a. And it motor. sank. <laughs> yeah, it descended. <laughs> well, well, one yeah, of well, them. Did. Allegedly. So people allegedly. Are I think we should say allegedly at this point, because <laughs> we are speculating. Yeah. <laughs> I see. So, JT, do you think this would work? work if it had been a fully equipped. Um, talk to it and it'll go anywhere sort of car mm-hmm. that it would the same would have applied if you put it in the water yeah, you have to take the engine out because the, the nose will dive down oh. the water oh I see or if it's a, other certain cars would go in, uh, there in the back wouldn't they well what I thought anyway was that Exeter would be a good place to try out a self-driving canal boat so I think you're the pilot for the job 
Well, I think because we've got a fairly straight canal, haven't we? Yes. If you were yes. at the Exeter Quay and you said, boat, take me to double locks... Yes. It's not a very big task we're asking, is it? I mean, the, the boat ought to be able to cope with that, yes. you would have thought. that's straightforward, yes. So I think what we'll do, we'll probably have a proper crew anyway mm. and not allow the machine to take over completely, but we could just try out whether we can get... Well, you, need, you need something to kick in in case... Uh, there's an error fault. Yes, yes, I, exactly. I don't think we should risk our, our trip this completely. Show has, this show has that, you know. It has a robot? No, it has a kick in. A kick in? Effect. effect. So, we, what do we kick in? Do we kick in the <laughs> robot or the human beings? <laughs> Life. <laughs> yeah, so we've got it on the show as well. We have the same sort of mix, you think? Yeah, if something goes wrong. Well, we what panic. We, we panic. <laughs> and then what do we do? Do we turn on the, the, the complete robot and yeah. default away from the studio, or do we just talk while somebody else sorts out where the next bit of music is coming from? We just run. We run. <laughs> 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 we just run away. Yeah. And the listeners will be left with complete silence. Yes. I see. And, well, they, and not... they have to name the song. Good grief. Well, that could be very disconcerting. Really? Well, possibly, but then if they're left in extra key waiting for the robot to work, mm. that's not the worst thing that could happen, is it? Well, you can have a remote control one, like you know, like these. Um, you have these little boxes, don't you, with a big yes. aerial? Yes. And you remote control that way. You can have one of those. So, like, like for your television, a sort of remote control for the boat. Yes. So you can. And some so of them you, got can leave it, you can park your boat in the middle of the river, out of the way. And, and some tell it to come to the quayside for you. And some of them have got a keypad on them, haven't they? The remote controls yeah. now, so you could type in. Yeah. Uh, mm. Topsham or mm. wherever you wanted to go. Yeah. And um, well, this has got water. You're okay. So that's that's fine. Yeah. I think Chris is still looking for for some more music. So Chris could, is trying. So we could carry on with this. You see, I get my information in the middle of the night when I can't go to sleep. I turn on the radio. Oh no. That's and it time. tells me things. <laughs> it tells me that the top items from Las Vegas. Well, do you believe them though? No. No, right. No. I think there must be something more sensible. When somebody's devised the uh, knife and fork again, then you must question it a bit. Yes, no, they ha they, it wasn't that. Mm. They've got a camera you, that comes in the, a, a sort of sphere. It's only $300, and you throw it up in the air, mm. and it scans everywhere and creates a, a 3D model. And then you have to catch it, obviously. But they <laughs> they say because it's because it's only. What happens if you're not good at catching? <laughs> well, you've lost it, haven't you? But then they say, well, don't worry, it's only three hundred dollars. So if you drop it, <laughs> drop it for a camera that was quite cheap, well, you could have it in a big ball which bounces, couldn't you? Takes the ah oh, yes. yes yes. Put it in a transparent sort of c container. Yes, that well, would be a much better idea. For for these iPads, um, there are other. There are other things yeah. available, the tablety things. Yeah, uh, yes. you can get little um, things which go on the side of them. Yes. And they actually counterbat if you drop it on the ground. So that's what you want, that sort of effect, don't you? On, on a oh, a sort of rubber casing? Uh, no, not a rubber casing, I guess. So try, um, four little balls on the side. Ah. So they protect your the glass if you drop so would it. So that, would that block the view of the camera, though? We want transparent, whatever it is. No, you could have the same sort of effect, couldn't you? You could entice in the, uh, in case. the camera, yeah, yes. case, case it in the case. Yes. Um, the camera and the, ca the the case will be the bouncy thing. Take the absorb the the pressure. Right. Well, now I think Chris seems to be ready. Uh, Chris is. Chris has lined up. Who's he? Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, Chris has lined up a track for one of our regular listeners, Mr. Paul Harris. This is I Am Maiden, Aces High. Oh, no, it's not. My phone gone to sleep. Ah. I Am Maiden, Aces <laughs> High. Can you not talk to her? <laughs> 